Aisha during Inside Living. Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. I hope you can hear me through this mask. So I'm just heading up to the store. This is my first time trying it so I don't know what to expect at all. I have an appointment for like 1.30, it's like 10, quarter past one right now. And yeah, there's like bugger all traffic. Basically anybody that's outside right now should have like their little scan, like QR code in case one gets stopped. This is just like no one. Oh, there is a man on the other side of the street. Yes. Yeah, I don't have a mask. I've never known where to get one. So you can only shop in your neighborhood and it only gives you particular options. This is a dual carriageway road. So it's usually a lot busier than this. I'm almost there at this co-op. It's not a big store. It is what it is. You can only go once a week. Lines are so horrendous here now. Going in, I don't know if I'll be able to film inside because you have to wear gloves and you only have half an hour to shop. Good thing it's a small store. I hope it's not queuing like last time. This is where you come out, see where this truck is unloading and it's underground. One minute, one minute. Whoa, whoa. Thank you. <laughs> is downstairs so it is a bit cooler but I'm sweating something chronic underneath here and I still have to walk all the way home the last time I stepped outside was over a week ago when I just before they announced or well they had announced that this was gonna happen where you have to be um, inside and so I was part of the panic buying. This was so much better with the appointment system. I said I should check the time to see what, how long I took because it was like maybe five people in there. Yeah, they actually had more stuff. I've got grapes, I've got some funny looking bananas, but yay, fruit. I bought some frozen chopped spinach, which I'm going to put with my eggs. I've never used that product before, so I don't know how that's going to go. But yeah, it was much better stocked. They still didn't have any milk because I really wanted to buy cereal. That's my shopping for the week until next Wednesday. So I've got my cold bag, <laughs> reusable bag, which I've used for years. But I'm gonna throw this at the wash when I get home after I empty it. And then I use my backpack to carry because I have to walk. This is hours before you're allowed to go outside. So I guess they're not patrolling that heavy here. When I went inside, they did, they gave me the usual temperature check and then this hand sanitizer pump and then gloves, but there was no rubbish bin. And then he did scan my QR code to make sure I was at the right time, I guess. And it was fine. He was from Egypt, lovely chap. <laughs> Tiny little make do store that's open as a result of this we never had it before we get our temperature taken like i'm about to have it when i go back into my apartment building so you know twice within an hour that's fine and the pharmacy so it's eight minutes past two so i probably did take the whole half hour even though it's a really small store and there's not much to get different countries do it differently if you haven't seen my flights flying during the virus back from europe then please check that out, I'll link it in the description box below. Clearly hospital staff leaving, like getting dropped off. That's what I used to go to, to work. So yeah, transporting the people that are still working. I'm almost home, so I'm gonna finish here. I'll show you what I bought when I unpack it. It's really not that exciting, mostly junk food, but I'm so excited to have a banana.